Greetings, beloved. I'm Dr. Felicia LaBoy, lead pastor and life coach here at the historic First United Methodist Church in downtown Elgin, Illinois, with another motivational moment from the Bible. These motivational moments are designed to help us take what we hear during sermons from church or what we may read during our private devotional time, what we may even hear like on the radio, YouTube, TikTok, through a podcast, to take those biblical concepts and to make them a part of our everyday life. This week, which is week two of our Advent series on rediscovering Christmas, you remember last week we did uh, Hoping Against Hope, the first week of Advent, it's the first gift that God brings us is hope. Second gift that God brings us is peace. Now, let me be clear. Peace is not the absence of conflict or the absence of trouble. Peace is in the midst of it. Beloved, God doesn't call us to be peacekeepers, but peacemakers. That's a whole thing for another time. Some of us don't have any peace because we keep sweeping things under the rug. That's a peacekeeper. Peacemaker does those things that make for peace, but I want to talk about something else when it comes to peace. I don't know about you, but when I have hard times, when I seem to lose my peace, I'm a, I'm discombobulated and stressed out. I, you know, I, I things are going on at church, things are going on at my home with my kids, my grandkids. I am stressed, and what I need is some peace. Often, the first thought I have, and I know better. I know better, just like I know you know better, is to think. Or I may not verbalize it, but I think. I'm like I'm, I'm like those disciples on that boat and the storm came up. Or I'm like Martha who looked around at all she had to do and her sister was sitting there listening to Jesus. I'm, I'm like those folks who have experience with God, who know that Jesus can do anything, but it seems like... All around me, everything is raging, and somewhere deep down where I don't even want to admit, the cry of my heart sometimes is, Lord, don't you care? Do you see what's going on? And really what I'm saying is, Lord, do you see that everything around me is raging? Do you see all the needs I've got to attend to? Do you see all the stuff that's going on? I'm like those disciples on the boat. What boat, Pastor? Ah. In Mark chapter 4, Jesus tells the disciples after a long day of ministry, get in the boat and let's get in the boat because we're going to the other side. And when they get in the middle of the sea, these are experienced fishermen, the winds begin to crash against the boat and the Thing keeps rocking and water keeps splashing on the and where's Jesus? Jesus is knocked out in the back, sleep. He's tired. And they can't believe that Jesus is sleeping through all of this. He's out. And so they run up to him, Jesus. I know they really want to say, Are you crazy? There are a lot more, um, there are a lot more, I want to say nicer than me. But they're like, Jesus, don't you care? Do you see the water coming in the boat? You're asleep. We're going to drown. Now, here's the thing why I think Jesus got mad. Because he was like, I told y'all we were going to the other side. Other side. When have I told you that we were going to do something and we didn't do it? When have you not seen my provision for you? When have I not cared for, cared for you? I'm asleep because I'm confident in knowing That I said I was taking you to the other side. I'm going to sleep. I need some rest because it's going to be ministry on the other side. But Jesus, in his compassionate way, jumped up. It says he arose and rebuked the women, said to the sea, peace, be still. Some translation said he said, quiet. And really, when our world is raging, the peace that we want, isn't it just what we want is just a little peace and quiet. We want there to be a great calm. Jesus says to them and says to us, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have so little faith? The question, beloved, is never, um, does our Lord care? The question is, can we latch on to the care he has already provided us? And then when everything in our life is raging, 
the, the cry of our heart is not, Lord, don't you care, but Lord, help. 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 Or the cry of our heart is, Lord, I'm your child. And I need you. Would you please help me to be still? I don't know about you, but it's often that I am worried about things that may never seem to happen. Often that my schedule is overloaded and I am learning to say no or to say, you know what? I had planned that we were going to do that, but really I don't have the capacity. We're not. And even in those times when I make a mistake, it's not, Lord, don't you care? It is to trust that God is and will work all things together for my good and his glory, and he'll do the same for you. That's why Jesus is looking and saying, how can you have so little faith? I'm with you. I'm in the boat with you. I told you we're going over there, and we will go over there. I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. So quiet down. Be calm. Chill out. Take a chill pill and watch me work. What, Pastor Felicia? That's what my mother used to say when I was a little girl when um, there'd be storms. She'd make us go through the house and unplug everything, but she would have us sit beside the window while the storms were going and the lightning flashing and the thundering rolling, and she would say, watch how the Lord works. She did that, I think, to let us know the majesty of God and who it was that we were calling on. Beloved, you never have to ask. I never have to ask, does the Lord care? We just have to say, Lord, help. Because I know you do care. And While I'm going through this difficult time, would you grant me your peace? I mean, after all, isn't that what it says in Philippians 4? Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything and the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Well, I want to say we'll quiet you down because that's really what it means. It'll guard your heart, mind in Christ Jesus. What it means, it'll, it will calm you down. Beloved, God's got this and God has us. Of course, the Lord cares. I pray that you'll stick around this week for this week's Refresh Your Soul moment. This uh, week's song comes from C.C. Winans, and it is the goodness of God. And it talks about how many times our God has protected, provided, and made a way out of no way for us over and over and over again. The Lord does care. You and I are his special percent. Possession, as it says in the Bible. Be blessed. Be still. Get some peace. Relax. Chill out. Stick around for that. Refresh your soul moment. I am Dr. Felicia LeBoy, lead pastor and life coach here at the historic First United Methodist Church in downtown Elgin, Illinois. See you soon.